now that I am myself again, I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Okay. Cool. Welcome back, everyone, to my playthrough of God of War Ragnarok. We are, yet again, in a brand new realm. The realm of... Uh, Vanaheim. We are in Vanaheim. And, um... Ah, uh, there's a Drago hole on the map that we need to uh, plug up. In any case... Uh, no telling how big this map is going to end up becoming or, or whatnot. But we need to go back to Freyr's camp. In the last episode, we beat the living hell out of Nidog. What's over here? Can't go that way now. Uh, oh, there's one of those whizzy things. Look at that. So we beat the hell out of Nidog. Here's its body, and uh, its head is somewhere around here because we chopped it off. It was actually a pretty formidable opponent. It was a challenge. Killed me several times. And I was just facing it really by myself. However, Freya finally stepped into the fray and uh, helped me kill it. Now she has her body back. She's no longer a bird. So I'm wondering how the combat with her is going to go. Is she going to, you know, aid me in combat now? Hopefully. And now we're friends again. Yay! <laughs> Freya. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Though I tried for so long to avoid it, we were forced to confront Freya head on. For the time being, she has stayed her blade, and I have agreed to travel with her to Vanaheim. I do not believe she will ever forgive me, but perhaps our journey will give her time to reconsider her need for vengeance. Our journey in Vanaheim was successful in breaking Odin's curse on Freya and in allowing us to forge a new alliance. With her anger now focused on Odin, Perhaps we can free ourselves of his influence altogether. I am relieved to think of her as a friend once more. I can imagine no more form formidable ally. I don't know why. You know, had trouble pronouncing that. Um she is quite formidable. Uh ooh, when she was in Valkyrie form, she was whooping us, actually. But uh, I'm glad. I'm very glad that we were able to work hmm. this out. What's that? We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I think we finally figured out how to destroy those vines. Uh, aim L2 at the heavy vines and press that to ask Freya to hex it with a sigil. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. So, we have figured out how to destroy those vine thingies. Which is one of the obstacles in this game we didn't know how to get past, but now we do. Which means a few places, I think, have opened up to us. Um, I think... Have we not seen these vines on other areas as well? Like, didn't we see some of these vines in... Uh, Alfheim? Because if we did, that would potentially mean that Freya may end up coming with us to other realms. That would be cool. Ah, more vines. More vines. More vines. Freya. Gracias. Uh -huh. Stonewood and Hack Silver. Anyways, I hope you're all having a great freaking day. Thanks for joining me if you're watching this. And, uh... This story, man, it is just... Hello, who the hell are you guys? Are you an enemy? Are these uh, Asgardians? Can I sneak? I can't sneak on them. But they're Asgardians. 
Oh, those eggs. Okay, hold that thought. There we go. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> shoot sigil arrows at burning or frosted enemies with X to trigger elemental explosion. Look at that. Ow. That hit. Oh, that's pretty long range. Good job, Freya. Look at her using those things. Ow. Okay. It's getting real. This guy. <laughs> funny. Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well. You learn to use what you have. Send Odin my regards. She's a valuable ally, man. She really is. Um, there was another brick here I could have thrown. Ooh. I think uh, Atreus is gonna be so happy that we uh, that we're cool now. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. So why are you angry? Hey, look, I think she, uh... I saw on her thingamajiggy, you see over there to the bottom right, I think she has like a summon of her own. You know? Like, um, the same way Angry Buddha had. So what could she do? Woman still hacks a iron experience. Mother load. <laughs> so that's nice, a new achievement. But we got something else that opened up, I think. Is it skills? What is this? Ooh, we finally have something here. While aiming, press R1 to impel an enemy to the ground. Excellent. So we can finally add something to this. Momentum greatly increases Im immolation charge? Gained from skill? Not sure exactly what that means. Protection. Greatly increases resistance to damage and being staggered during a uh, skill. And then damage. Slightly, greatly, greatly. Let's do one of the greatly ones. Um. Hmm. Greatly increases immolation charge. Uh, we'll do this. Sure, why not? Alright. Okay. Cool. And we do still have this one over here. Um... This is the frozen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sun, greatly frost, increased permafrost charge gain from skill. Maybe. Why don't we do this one? Greatly increased frost skill. That way we have two things that are nice and frosty now. Uh, there was something else I was thinking of. It was... It was in the lore, I think. Uh, one of these people... It wasn't Freya, was it? It's Faye. Um... No. And not Freya, either. I don't remember. Maybe it was one of the... I don't know. Maybe it was one of the enemies or something.
These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Yes, but there's two of them. Like, there's two of them. I've only got one axe. I do that there's two of them whoa why is it staying like that so hold on if I do this then well the, now the sigil should hold the frost even in the axe's absence use sigil arrows on frost on objects okay I see well done. There we go. I was wondering, like, how's this gonna work, but check that out. That's cool. Ugh! Oh god! Oh! What the hell? Okay, so it only lasts for a small amount of time. Ugh! Uh, it should have told me that, Freya. Okay, we need to like hurry, hustle, hustle. Holy crap. I like messed up a lot of my health. Yeah, it doesn't last very long, does it? Uh, which way? Which way, which way, which way? Here we go. God. Chest. That was weird. Like the sound cut out there for a minute when the chest fell. Thank you for waiting, Freya. Okay. Now we'll go up here. Oh god, what's happening? I heard something. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Okay. So Oh god. They're impervious to physical attacks. My arrows can disrupt their protection spell. Uh Could you repeat that? <laughs> We're not starting off good, are we? Hmm. I was killed by a plant. You go in the afterlife and people talk to Kratos. Like, wow, you killed all the gods of the Olympus and stuff? But what finally killed you? Well, the plant in uh, Vanaheim. A plant killed me. So what do we need to do? Tell me again, Freya. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Okay. Can I kill it? Or will it move? Oh, I think it's fit. What am I supposed to do now? Okay. I think I see. So, I need to get her to do that, and then I can kill her. Wisps. Uh, a herald of impending destruction, if ever there was one. The runic magic that flows through the Nine Realms is a delicate system. In times of peace, the magic is calm, like a perfectly still lake in the absence of wind. But even the slightest disturbance is enough to cause ripples. And I can't think of a greater disturbance than Ragnarok approaching. <coughs> Runic springs have begun to appear, causing raw magic to bubble up from deep within the very makeup of a realm. From these springs, Wisp are born, the pure manifestations of magic. With Fumblubanda upon us, it's no wonder we're encountering more of these little pests by the day. Be wary, though. These may be easy enough to manage in small numbers, but they can quickly overwhelm even a seasoned warrior. What's more, they can fuse together to become whites. 
ephemeral brings that can't uh, a beings that can't be hit by most attacks. They need to be locked down with a runic arrow before they can be attacked. Okay. Once vulnerable, they can be dispatched in a single hit, which causes them to be knocked away and explode, dealing damage to enemies with a little luck. So, like I said, we definitely need her to hit these things first. I see. Good job. Did I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. See, here's a whizzy thing, but I don't know how to get up there. This whizzy thing is something, though. Ah. <sighs> um, for you. Come, woman. Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look, the sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. Holy shite, that was The awesome. eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. Damn. I mean, damn, that was cool. The wolf stretched across the damn sky and chased the moon. Man, that was cool. What are they doing here, though? I mean, we did learn they were alive, but I didn't know they were here. Interesting. And now it is daytime. Man, that is so freaking cool. Goodness me, that is so cool. Woo! Okay, here we go. Yeah. Harmony. In a realm of peace, there's only one crime, a disruption of that peace. Look about you, the land and its people in harmony and balance, as constant as the sun and moon. Yet balance is precari uh, precarious. Balance is easily lost. Cruelty, vanity, selfishness. These are the forces that would disrupt Vanheim's harmony. These are the forces of the Aesir. We are a peaceful people, but peace cannot endure without force to protect it. That's true, that line there at the end. Peace cannot endure, endure without force to protect it. Peace through strength. As if it's just, you know, a village full of uh, pacifists. Yeah, no. That's, that's not gonna last. Man, oh man, oh man. Look at this place. So everything will look different if we went back then, huh? But we shall go forward. This is a cool bridge. I like this earth magic stuff. Look at this. Man, check this out. Cool, man. I know I seem like such a nerd. Such a dork, but I don't care. I'm digging this stuff. <laughs> Just... Goodbye, bridge. Oh, hello. What are you? Are you about to attack me? Because if so, I'm going to kill you. Is this thing about to attack me? It looks like it is. Okay, okay. You are. Ah, son of a... H hold on. I'm trying to defeat a plant. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Okay. You mean this thing over here? Where? It's gotta be this thing. 
Ugh. Oh, I'll probably fire then, huh? Die, you SOBs. You could have told me that. How come it didn't attack you? Okay. Go up here. Um. Hey, what's up here? What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Two wolves? Where do you see the two wolves? Is it these things? No. Where do you see two wolves represented? Oh, on the ends of the... The cup here. So this is another thing in Majigi that we don't know what to do with. Interesting. Well, mystery for another time means not the uh, right now. Means we will come back to it. Okay, then do it. Okay. So, um, got a few places to explore. Guess we'll go up here first. I go over there just hanging out. Oh my gosh. That was Freya. I thought that was an enemy. Einha. Let's see. <laughs> Some carry blades for attacking in quick succession. You parry these to in, uh, interrupt their flow. Try to parry these. Enemy behind you, Kratos! Where? Over there. Hey, buddy. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, hold that thought. Uh Oh hey there, I don't know where you went. Oh gosh. Oh, hey guys. This is the last. Rushing Chaos. Ah, and now we have this one unlocked. Press R1 during Flame Whip Lash. Ah, now we're talking. I'm thinking Elemental for this one. Extra Fire. Yeah. I was waiting for this one. Okay. 
Well done, Freya. I gotta tell you, man, the combat in this game is so much fun. Like, it can be a little frustrating because it is challenging. I'm playing on the slightly... Not Give Me God of War, but the one underneath that. And, um, it's pretty challenging. At least for me it is. But, my goodness, it is a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. All these different types of techniques and stuff you could try. The, you know, even just, like, the different layers here of the levels. Where, you know, enemies can hop up and down and so can you. And you have the environment and stuff. I don't know. I'm digging it, man. I am digging it. Just looking around for chests. Making sure I didn't miss anything. There. Okay. I think we're good. I think. I believe that we are good. Okay. Um. This way? Okay. Right? So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and look at, I don't know, some old uh, <clears throat> God of War you know, clips of him and Demos. I only... Now how to get across. Chain elements. Use multiple sigils to chain elements toward hard-to-reach places. They grow in size and glow brighter when chained to each other. My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Hold that thought. Let me go around this way and look. Look at this place, man. Looks nice, man, doesn't it? I dig it. It's like a rainforest. Here's one of these... <clears throat> these guys look like one of those... Uh, what were they called? Travelers in the first game? You know, the big guys, and they would turn their back to you, to your shield? I'm amazed that this game has given us such a variety of new enemies. And it has barely repeated any of the enemies from the last game. Like the travelers, and uh, the uh, ogres, and trolls and stuff. We haven't fought any of that stuff. I mean, it's been mostly new stuff. I'm digging it. So... And I can't reach it from here, so... Uh, place sigils on river objects and brambles. And uh, they are lighter, are larger and brighter when connected. Like... Like that? But... Hmm. <coughs> and it goes away after a little bit, doesn't it? Place sigils on river objects and brambles. They are larger and brighter when connected. So I need to... I mean, surely it's not this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Oh, check that out. Okay. See, when I target one, the other one kind of activates. So I definitely need two. I th I'm thinking it would be over here, though, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe this one right here. Oh, there's a lot of them. But it's not enough. Uh... I'm not really sure what to do. Place sigils on river objects and brambles. I mean, this is like the river object. Okay, hold on. Need to reactivate this. And then maybe... Here. 
I kind of thought there'd be like this chain reaction that goes across. Because I need to burn those. It's not... If I just do it once and can figure it out once, I'll have it. Oh, look, look, look. Okay, so they have to be kind of connected like that. And they... Glimmer. Okay, so maybe this will do it. But I can't reach this one now. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright. We're gonna do here. And then... Here. Alright, that should do it. That's it. Alright, that's how you do it. Forgiveness can be powerful. Even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. So in the future, those purple orbs need to kind of overlap a little bit. Or else uh, it's not going to be connected. You can do three of them. Got it. No problemo. Kratos really is kind of like the Terminator figure, isn't he? I don't know what she just said, but it's not gonna matter. About to die. Not what I wanted to do. Good. <laughs> Always check behind the waterfall, right? Like, doesn't it look like... Oh, look at her! Look at her! She's going that way. So that is the way to go. Okay, hold on a second. Um, I'm just kind of looking around. I don't see anything. Okay. Forgive me. This was done by your arrow down here, right? Purple thing? Right here? This isn't... From her. Alright, let's go. Let's go behind the waterfall. After you. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You're standing more... You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me. If he must. Yeah, she's sounding more like Atreus. The thing is, is I mean, the it's just Odin is basically a monster. He's caused so much pain and suffering. He has to be stopped. Everyone else kind of sees that, except Kratos. 
he doesn't want to get involved because he's looking at it from the perspective of a father. You know? He doesn't want Atreus hurt. And Tyr is kind of lining up with Kratos because he just doesn't want anything to do with war. So there's kind of a split here on, uh, you know, Odin's an issue. He needs to be taken care of, but at what cost? You know? Hello. Give me a minute. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. Yeah, I can see that very clearly. Where's the fat one that I can kill? Isn't there like a big bulb? There it is. Can I get it from here? No. Can't reach it from here. Like. Whatever. Why do they like you and not me? I'm likable. Have I switched out my gauntlets yet? I still need the other kind of gauntlets for this armor set. What's back here? Oh, a chest that's been opened. So that means we have gone through this area before. How? Ah, I don't remember this being here. Or maybe it was and we just couldn't get up. Okay, so now what? Can't go this way? Um, okay. Here's one of these things. Still have no idea what this is. So just back through so here. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Hmm. Yeah, things are heating up. Let's see how, uh, Mimir is going off with, uh, uh, what's his name? Prayer. I think we're almost back to their camp now, Ready. right? Ready. As I ever will be. It's gonna be an interesting conversation. to us at last yes uh let's celebrate you reclaim the throne we'll rebuild me and you against the world huh just like the old days i'm not staying i don't understand you're here maybe together we can take back what's ours i only just got back what's mine I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it... One you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I
thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you in vain. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. All right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. So, oh, I can't move around until I get uh, Mimir, so let's do that. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? <clears throat> depart first. Can't. Oh, excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? So, um, man, I, I gotta say, um, May I ask, how did a traveler come to follow my brother? I was broken when he found me. The truth I'd pledged my life to, it was a lie. Lord Freyr put what was left of me back together. Give me something real to believe in. That's Freyr, the Lord of Second Chances. He saved me, gave me a family, a purpose, and I will gladly die for both. Thank you. He's lucky to have you. So this guy's a traveler. He's one of those enemies from the first game. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyr found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the Blothunder breeding farm north of here. We all told him. She was beyond saving, but he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart, believes in your goodness, even if you don't. So... Um, 
Yeah, it looks like we can uh, go around. Uh, hey there. If you got an ear, I got a mouth. It looks like we can go around and chat with people. Um, man, I gotta say, uh, that was that was a good moment. I gotta say, man, that was a great scene. Her reuniting with her brother, I, I wasn't expecting it to, to be that emotional. Like it built up, there was anger, they were frustrated, and then it calmed down and it got real. Like it got real, and uh, ooh, yeah, it uh, it hit me. I was like, oh man, that's that's a really a really meaningful moment. That was very well done. And so, it looks like Freya might uh, come back with us to Sentry's house. And so we'll have her and Tyr and we'll have a whole little party of our own. Uh, we're all gods, by the way, <laughs> so that's cool. Um, man, that's so awesome. And it looks like we may yet have some side quests to do here. So why don't we stick around and talk to a few people first. Let's see what's in here. Good thing we didn't miss this. Hack silver seven, yeah. Whoop de do. Oh, frozen flame. Did I miss that somewhere? That's a big one. So I can upgrade my axe again, right? Let's talk. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town. I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. She is not answering his question. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. <clears throat> what sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? Hold on. Uh, return the broken armor to Lunda to craft Lunda's lost bracers. And, uh... Um... These pages are very... Oh, yeah, yeah. Belt, chorus. Find Lunda's broken... Ah, uh, broken belt and chorus. Okay. Maybe it'll be good. I do not know. Sure, we'll help you out, Lunda. And, uh... This is like... So, is this like Brock's chick or whatever? They make a good couple, if not. Sure, I'm open. We have a lot of new things. Let's see, we got the Blades of Chaos we can finally upgrade with a Chaos uh, Flame. Yes, please. You still owe me the story of who made these things. Uh, Ares. Pommel of Brutal Might. And we have Promel of Agile Deceit. Ooh, I've got a lot of Hacksilver too. Let's see, strength would go down with either one of these, but defense would go up with this one. Vitality would go up with this one. Stun grabbing an enemy, R3. Grants a gift of strength. Stun grabbing an enemy. Pommel's crafted for those who excel in close quarters combat and seek to end fights quickly and effectively. So, does this mean I can just grab an enemy just outright? The Spinning Chaos and Evasive Embers Evade Attack skills do increase damage and burn to enemies. Spinning Chaos and Evasive Embers. Are those the ones where I have to dodge in order to activate the attacks? Hmm, I may come back to these. We got the Leviathan Axe we can upgrade as well. That's excellent. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. We have Grip of Weighted Recovery. Stun grabbing an enemy, R3 provides a blessing of cooldown. A lightweight grip that, when held, feels like it energizes the holder for the battle ahead. Adds a, cons 
a concussive wave to the end of the axe R1 combo. A knob that was used by a legendary light elf heralded for her deadly finishing sli uh, slices. Hmm. Let's see. With this one, uh, strength and defense both go up. With this one, just rune it goes up. Why don't we do this one? Adds a consecutive wave to the end of the axe R1 combo. We'll equip that. And we have some Let's armor. Make something then. We have Lunda's Lost Chorus. Huh, that looks kind of weird. Uh, I thought I needed to get the other stuff for it, though. Barehanded attacks, parrying and blocking have a high luck chance to deal bonus damage and poison enemies, lowering their power. So everything goes up except for vitality. That goes down a bit. One of Lunda's finest works, crafted long ago and fallen into disrepair, it is now returned to its former glory. Um, waste armor. It looks like the same. We've got Lunda's stuff. Oh, no, no. These are the bracers. And then the waist. It looks interesting. Let's see. Special Ain't items. Something special? We have three new ones. Vanheim's Fortune. Uh, it is set bonus. Increased Kratos' melee damage against status-afflicted enemies based on his luck. Increase Kratos' melee damage when he is above 75% health based on his defense. Bright-Eyed Emblem. Increase resistance to blind and daze by 50%. So these amulets... Um, I think these are for Atreus, aren't they? Enchantments. I believe these are for Atreus. We have relics. These are the hilts. This is the one that... Uh, the These relics are the ones that I used. I think the enchantments were, are for Atreus. We have accessories. And Lady Freya? Uh, sigil amplification. Sigil arrows deal increased status. Upgrade increased strength to this effect. A raven skull stolen from Asgard and cursed by nine sisters of Vanaheim. Is this stuff for Freya? Runic potency. Runestone refinement. Like. Like this stuff here. Is this Freya's stuff? What are you looking for? How can I tell? Resources. We have a superior resurrection stone. I can craft. Um, I wonder... I guess I can only have one resurrection stone. At least in the last game. Could I have a superior one and a simple one in this game? But these accessories... And now for the goddess. These are for Freya. But how do I equip her stuff? Sigil ampl amplification... I don't know. I mean, maybe. Oh, wait a second. You know what you want? Um. I thought she would show up with us here on screen, but I guess not. See, we have amulets. These amulets. Um. See. And then the relics are what I use. So, I'm just kind of wondering, these other things... Where is Freya? She's over there sitting down, right? So, these things here... We have armor. Amulets. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Using resources to unlock additional enchantments. 
Right, right, right. That unlocks that. Right, right, right. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Ready when you are. Special items. What's the witch of the woods need? So, like, I can craft this. But, you know, I, I just don't know how to equip any of this stuff. I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, because with, like, say, Atreus, you can go into his inventory and equip certain stuff. Maybe she just has all of these equipped? I, I don't know. This one's at max. Um, why don't we just go ahead and make this? Digital amplification. An accessory for her. I can't really... I mean, I could upgrade this. Runestone refinement. Cool down. Sure. That way, mostly everything is, uh... Up to par. The beast scraps and beast bone is only used for this stuff. I mean, Atreus' stuff is improved with that as well, but I think all of his stuff is pretty good. Okay. Big man. Resources. Why don't we get a superior resurrection stone? And... I cannot get the other... Oh, wait. Here we go. How many can I get? Only one Resurrection Stone can be carried at a time. Note, will not activate without your companion. So I can't craft this one either. That's fine. And I have things to sell, of course. You make up your mind. <laughs> Brock. <laughs> I have the Stonewall Shield. I think I might upgrade this. It's still burning, too. Uh, this one I got out there was not that impressive. I like the Stonewall one. Maybe we should upgrade that. I was thinking about upgrading the armor, but... If I just get new armor... It's just, this is Lunda's Lost Chorus. And I need... Oh, oh, okay, I see. I get it now. I need Lunda's Broken Chorus. That's, of course, that's why it's right there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this armor, and then maybe once we have it, we'll try to upgrade it. So let's stick with what we have. Although, however, for the waste, I still have the Gauntlets of Radiance. I wanted to switch. I'm wearing the Souls Spalders of Courage. Um, I wanted to do this one. Souls Wraps of Courage. Because I didn't have enough hack silver before. And um, that way we have the full set. A good fit. There we go. So we have the full set of this one now. And, uh, yeah. I think we're good. That ought to last you a little while. It ought to. Let's go around and see if we can talk to anyone else before we head out. We do have a new favor to complete. Uh, which direction? Oh, it's down here. So we would be going, I guess, through this way? Dang. Look at that fat dog. Oh, it's so cute. The fat dog. What is this? No flowers or something? What do you guys do? Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. So, what is she making? It looks like she's making... Maybe messages? Like little scroll... Or maybe they're candles. Oh no, they're bombs, I think. Like little explosives. And I guess he's doing the same thing. Alright, let's, let's see what you got. Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is... <laughs> he's never seen a light elf and dark elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim... Contested territory. Past the barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum. And artifacts our elders don't want us to see. 
Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. We Hold that thought. Bela and Bagvir. Bela, a dark elf, and Bagvir, a light elf, are allies of Freyr, and something more than allies to each other. After seeing so much division and anger in Alfheim, to see them together is striking. It is a reason to hope elves may yet find peace. Perhaps aiding them by exploring the Hidden Sanctum and the Alfheim Desert will allow us to help correct our own past wrongs toward the elves. The Hidden Sanctum and the Alfheim Desert. Pretty sure I explored everything, but there was an area I couldn't get past. She is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. Hello. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Freya. Nice of you to, uh, join me. I guess you wanted to be a part of the conversation. But you, did you, okay, so that's what he needed help with. To explore that. Let's see. Favors. Explore the Elven Sanctum in Alfine. Mimir spoke with the elves Bela and Bigvor while in Freyr's camp. They spoke of an elven sanctum of forbidden knowledge deep in the eastern desert of Alfheim. It may contain valuable resources for our journey. So the western part is the part that's still unavailable. But I think the eastern one is the one we explored. <sighs> the... Oops. Oh, it looks like some new things opened up with the Blades of Chaos. We'll check that out in a minute. Uh, Sindri, Jotunheim, Swartalfheim, uh, Alfheim. Here. Mystic Gateway. So, as you can see, we have the Elven Sanctum. But how do I get to it? You see, it's blocked by this door here. So until I figure out, okay, maybe I was wrong. So, it said Eastern though. Like this would be the East. So going this way would be like towards the West. So how big does this area open out? I wonder, because if you open up this gateway here and go out and this here is still considered the East, then there must be much more out here this way. As you can see this sand thing twirling there's another giant jellyfish. If I zoom out a little bit, oh, I can't go any further. What about over this way? I don't see any of those sand things. You... Um. Yeah. So we'll have to wait until we open up this barrier. I think I don't. I don't think there's another if way. To I get may through. ask. Do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most... talkative. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that? It's shit. I am more than the Hive. More than a soldier. Light elves, dark elves. All elves are the same. Stubborn. Brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. 
I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. There. That is all I have to say. You can go away. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> so, Re uh, Freya was actually waiting for me to finish. I hope we have a chance to talk further, Mimir. Always nice to meet a fellow scholar. And Kratos, I understand your homeland is famed for philosophers. When things quiet down, I'd love to hear their ideas. And your own. I have nothing to say that will interest you. Nonsense, brother. I've heard many a wise word pass those sunburned lips. <laughs> it's all right, Mimir. My wife is much the same way. Careful. Uh, quiet, but very deep. Acceptable. Woo! <laughs> she loves me so much. Oh, <laughs> They do make a good couple. He's kind of the peaceful, um, intellectual. He's the warrior, rude and blunt. Staring me down, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, okay. All right. All right, I can see it. I can see it. They balance each other out. Okay, is that everyone to talk to? I can't talk to the dog, can I? I can't talk to this guy either. He ain't got anything to say to me. And that was it, wasn't it? And then there's a fat little dwarf over here. Oh, where's a... Uh, 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 what's his name? Freyer. Where'd he go? Go back through there. Where'd Freyer go? Oh, here he is. Hey. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you help to do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. Cool. Well, I've got her back. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I guess that's all he has to say. All right, guys. Well, this has been quite a fascinating and interesting episode, but we're going to call it there. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go off into uh, Vanaheim. And try to help this fat little dwarf recover this armor and get a new gear set. So in any case, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great freaking day.